Kilma? Kilma Kilma. And you find a lot of Libyans still do say that all the time. I was with some Libyans, and I, we were talking, and then one of them said, Kilma, and I was like, Kilma, Kilma. I was like, whoa, hold on. When, when you start doing that, you came here? Nah, we, they've been doing that. So it's, it's still there. Kilma? Nah, I'm Kilma, Kilma. All right. There's one. Can we get started? Hey. No. Where's everybody with their dictionaries? Does everybody get their dictionaries and start reading them? Yes. I didn't hear too much noise. No. You got, listen guys. The program starts breaking down when you procrastinate. Okay? You, you know if you're cheating yourself. You've got to put the time in now while we're going through this program because then you'll see the most results from your reading. Because we're in the classroom and we get to say something, you say, okay, I passed by that, I did that, and stuff like that. And don't think that just because I'm fluent or the sheikh is fluent and some other people are fluent, they're not doing the same type of thing on whatever level they have to do it on. Everybody has increased their readings, okay? In, in different books, you still reading Sheikh Ken? Yes. Nah. So, Ken? About the fish. Oh, about the fish. I saw you today. I saw you had them only a little bit on the side. That's why I said, are you still reading it or were you reading it? So I'm the left. Everybody's reading more. And that's the key. We can continue that habit. You know, then we're following the first order Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us, which was? Okay? Ifra for all of us. All right, so now we're gonna we're gonna script this this real quick. Assalamu alaikum. That's an accident waiting to happen when he's right by the wire, you know. Oh. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. It's no, we're not gonna do that. Uridu an u'arifaka ala. Uridu an u'arifaka ala. Let me write it down. Uridu. Uridu. An. An. Uhibbu. Uhibbu. Uh, there's some vegetables outside. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
as opposed to sahih. Say sahih. Sahih. Sah. Sah. Now I say to you, sah wala la. Sah wala la. Sah wala la. Sah wala la. In Arabic, that means if we were going to say like what we said, right or wrong. You know, is that right or not? You know, ain't that right? You know, get my point. So it's not. It doesn't necessarily make sense. Ain't that right? Because ain't that right is like it's wrong, right? You know. No, literally. But you know, so. But that's how you 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 we use that as a phrase. Remember, we're learning expressions here, and these expressions that you hear, you know, sah walala. And the response would be sah or sahih. Sah or sahih. Right. This is an F. Sah walala. Or where is he going to agree? Sahih. Where is he going to agree? Kalla. Kalla with a strong negation. These all came before migration, right? Kalla. Kalla. Whenever you see kalla in the Quran. You know that that came in some Meccan surah. Kalla with his strong negation, these all came before migration. Okay, so kalla. That's how if I say, alaysa kadala, and you want to disagree, you say kalla. You want to agree, you say bala. Alaysa kadala? Bala. Bala, not not on bala. No, no. For him, so now, I want to go through this, the conversation again. Let's, now. Hell, uh, 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 take a breath. Hell, uh, 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 No, not ah. Uh, 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 Okay, so uridu an means I want to, right? I would like to. Uridu an. Uridu an. Ooh. You have to say it with a kiss. We have these big lips. Go. Uridu. Uhibbu an. Uhibbu an. Uhibbu an. Uhibbu an. Uarrifaka. Uarrifaka. Now this is not tajweed class. So you can say uarrifaka, uarrifika, uarrifuka. And no one's going to say lala. You know, nobody's going to say that. You know, because it's normal speech. The proper way is uarrifuka. 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 See, that's an ain. You hear it? No. Uarrifuka. Uarrifuka. Similar to a'udhu. A'udhu. You have a hamza than an ain, right? No. Uarrifuka. Uarrifuka. Uarrifuka ala. Uarrifuka ala. Uarrifuka ala nazih. This statement can be made by a man or a woman. Okay? This can be made to a man or a woman. Okay? The good thing is you can use the masculine on a woman, you can't use the feminine on a man. Okay? Does that make sense? And we have it in the Quran that way too, that we have the fi'lun and the and the masculine, but it's referring to the woman in that regard. And all the fi'lun amr, sallu, sallu is a fi'lun amr, yani, for rijal, madkur, but it includes the ladies, doesn't it? Assalamu alaikum. Now, assalamu alaikum. Now, this is masculine, but it said to a woman, right? Because the masculine includes the feminine. Does that make sense? But it's the same thing with your money in the bank. Your money is their money. <laughs> their money is their money. <laughs> right? So the masculine includes the feminine, but the feminine ain't got nothing to do with 
What? Even if you gave it to them, what you gave it to them, except for if it fit rule, just to be real. If you gave the, the, the ladies money, okay, monies for them to do a service for the family, it's still your money. If you gave them the money for them, okay, baby, you did such a good job, mashallah, boom, you know, and you gave them some money, some money, because sometimes ladies can have some money, and they just leave it on you, okay, general. And you say, okay, here, it's no longer your money. Okay? None. You, get, you got the <laughs> 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 surah. <laughs> now, we want to go over family fit? Sure. No, no, we need to go over family fit. <coughs> I think that that is the chapter, that, the, the chapter, the titles. Because I'm tired of calling it chapters, because it's really not chapters. If you look at a law book, they don't call it chapter and titles. You get my point? <coughs> so, those are titles, these are law titles that have certain regulations and things about that that we're supposed to know in general. So here I want you all to uridu an I'm speaking now. Ana uridu an uarifakum ala kawlina uridu an urafika ala fulan. Help him too. Shwaya, kulu shwaya. I'm using that as a statement now. Because I said I want you all to, right? So how do I say I want you to? Uridu an. See, it's I can use this all the time. Uridu an uarifakum. I want you all to familiarize you guys. You get it? So I can say Uridu an or uarifakum ala Arabiya. Alaysa kadalik? Alaysa kadalik? No, 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 Alhamdulillah. So I can say, Uridu an arrifakum ala conversational Arabic. Shukran, jazakallah khair. Fahimtu? Fahimna. Fahimin. Fahimin. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Uhibbu an arrifakum ala al-Arabiya. Now what we need is practice, a tamreen. So everybody stand up and pick a partner, three. Three people. And one person, Uri Kuru, the other, Uri Du and Arifaka, and I'm there. And then switch it up. And I'm there. And I'm there. And I'm there. Okay. I mean, I, I know what you're saying, but I know how to shop, right? Okay. No, I'm just saying, say, what do you do? And I know how to shop, Now, people work the easy though. Slow. Now, <laughs> <laughs> 
Idrisu waskutu wantebihu Idrisu waskutu wantebihu Idrisu waskutu wantebihu So sit down, you know, be quiet and pay attention. Pay attention. Wantebihu. Idrisu waskutu waskutu wantebihu wantebihu Or you say, like I said, Idrisu bilhudu wantebihu Idrisu bilhudu bilhudu is how we say shh. We don't say shh. We say hudu. 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 I even like because it sounds like it's saying hudu. Hudu. That's what you say to children or students when you want them to calm down, quiet down. Sakinu. 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 Sakinu is, is actually Turkish, but we say it in Arabic too. Sakinu. Sakinu. Calm down, relax. You know. Tasharraftu means I am honored to meet you or to make your acquaintance. Bima'rifatikum. Kulu. You like that, right? We know ma'rifa from the word arifa, right? Arifa is to know, right? So it's like I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm pleased to know you. Now look at this word. Tasharraftu. Kulu. Tasharraftu. The two means I. Tasharrafa. It means honor and dignity. The word, the, the, the shurafa or the sharif, sharif, no. is where the Americans get the word sharif today. No. And the sharif were the people who were the noble and the dignity people in the community who had the ability to stop fitting them. Okay? You call on them and they come and everybody would respect them because they were shurafa. Hence he was the sharif. Right? And so you, again, something they took from us. <laughs> It's right there in the, in the language, right there. The sharif, the sharif with the double R. You get the point? The sharif too. Again, I'm just showing you where how in how this even structure of society is based on what they learned when they met civilized people. Okay, they didn't dye themselves blue. Tasharraf too. No, not be marifatikum. Be ma. Be ma. Be ma. Be ma. Be ma. I want to hear you loud. Be ma. 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 Bima Arifa, Bima Arifa, Bima Arifa, Bima Arifa, Bima Arifa Tikum, Bima Arifa Tikum, Tasha Raftu, Tasha Raftu, Tasha Raftu, Tasha Raftu, right, rock and roll, okay, roll and roll, rock and roll, our culture rolls in our reality. Say raw like rock, our never rolls, although it does repeat. This is a rhyme we wrote on rock. Tasharraftu. Tasharraftu. You hear that wrong? Tasharraftu. Tasharraftu. When I say the roll, rock and roll. So you say, say raw like rock or never roll. Say that. Raw like rock or never roll. So we don't say raw like rabbit. We say raw like rock, our never rolls. Say never rolls. Never rolls. Tashan rough too. Tashan rough too. You see, we have that never rolls. It's like a shudder. The never and rolls is two R's there, right? But we don't say never. We say never rolls. Never rolls. Our reality. Our reality. Now, some of y'all are very proper. Our reality. I forgot I'm in the South. We have to speak better than we do in New York. We say ah. <laughs> That's ours. You know, no, but 
Our reality. Our reality. Never arose. Never arose. Tashan Raftu. Tashan Raftu. You see how you got that now? Tashan Raftu. Tashan Raftu. You study that. Tashan Raftu. Tashan Raftu. Tashan Raftu. يعني استريع يا أخي الخير يا أخي لباس كيف خيمة حتى بعدين تاع حبتين هذا صديقي أبديز ما 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 في مرة ثانية الحمد لله يا رب تشرفت 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 بم بمعرفتكم تشرفت بمعرفتكم أنا أبغى أقول تشرفت باللقاء you know, but that's it. I'm sure to put to me lika. Yeah, to meet you. But the the sharaf to the sharaf to be ma'arifatiko. Be ma'arifatiko. We stay on on point. We stay on this. We stand on these chewing gums. Hey man, it was F O Y was good. And growing up with the F O Y, learning how the discipline, learning how to be on point and watch and protect the community. We blew the baby out with the bathwater. We, we having the MGT classes and stuff like that. Even as a small child, I said, oh, I want to marry one of them girls in MGT class. Because they was baking and cooking and sewing, right? And I did. Alhamdulillah. 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 I don't forget that. No, no, no. Think about it. You're saying, you're saying like this. Look, I want to introduce you to. No, the word. Tell him that's wrong. Just think Sesame Street in Harlem, and then you see me. Okay. You get my point? This is our word of the day. Wrong. 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 Sahih. So a word of the day is Fahmi. Fahmi. Right? That, that's good. Hey, I heard this one comedian guy, what's his name? Trevor Noah. I love listening to this guy. He's a South African and he really talks about racism from his perspective. Okay? So he says that when he came to America, he wanted to be black because his father's white and his mother's black, so he was born a crime, you know, in South Africa. And he said, and if he was walking with his parents, and the police came, they had to let go of his hand. Okay, because his mother, he's very light-skinned, so his mother couldn't walk with him, and his father, it was recognizable that, you know, wasn't white, all the way white. So he said, I grew up thinking, I fell in like a, a, a weed bag. You know, so everybody drop you every time, please come on. <laughs> so, he said, so he said, he wanted to come to the United States. And it's funny, he said, he wanted to come to the United States because he wanted to be black, okay? He was, remember we spoke earlier about growing light skin in the South? Mm -hmm. You know, you know, people with their misunderstanding call you names and stuff like that because you're high yellow and all, and they say other church words towards you, right? So he said, man, if I go to the United States, his friend said, hey man, if you go to the United States, they'll, they'll consider you black. He's like, yeah, I want to be black, right? So he started to learn everything what he considered to be, you know, African American, okay? And he said he learned the word, nah, me. Okay. He said, man, what was life before that? <laughs> so he said, he could, if you could relive your life again with now, nah, I mean, what would it be like? And so he said, remember the Spartan thing where the guy says, he kicks the guy over and says, this is Sparta! Fahmi! <laughs> so I thought that was so appropriate. You know, because the language does bring certain flavor that transcend literal translation. Okay? Ours is an oral, tra oral tradition. Fahmin. Fahmin. Alhamdulillah. As long as we appreciate it. Okay? As long as we appreciate it, then, you know, that is what keep is the criteria for its usage and enjoyment. Okay? And so, Alhamdulillah, you know, alameen. And Alhamdulillah, interesting. So I want us to understand that after someone says, Uridu an hu arrifaka ala, they could be introducing you to anything or anyone. Okay? So, so that's what we want you to understand. I may be introducing you to a concept, I could be introducing you to a person. Uhibu an hu arrifukum ala concepts. 
Okay? Uhibu al uarifukum ala ashkas people. And what do you say? Tasharraf to be ma'rifatikum. I'm pleased to make you. So practice this. This is a very important script. Hal fahim tum. No. Fahim la aywa. Hal fa. Hal kana fihi faida. Has it been benefit? Hal kana fihi faida. Bala. Bala. Alhamdulillah. Barakallah. Barakallah fikum. Just like when someone says shukran jazilan, you should say afwan kathira. But they say shukran jazilan, afwan kathira. You to kabilu, you 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 match their their their, their honor with your honor and dignity, right? If they say salam alaikum wa rahmatullah, you don't say wa alaikum salam. What a stingy you know person that one is, right? You say that wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. You get my point? Marhaban bikum ahlan wa sahlan. You get you get you see what I'm saying? La 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 la. Who am I telling you? Ila al-amash. Erga. Yani alhamdulillah. Oh, oh, hibu an oh arifukum ala salam. Kira. La ba salam. Ishtariya. Iya khla khir. Uridu uridu uridum kaf nafnu. نلتقي في مرة ثانية ونشتري قال يا أخي خير يا أخي خير كيف حال؟ لبس الحمد لله الحمد لله الله مشتري الحمد لله كيف حال؟ كيف الأهل؟ كيف الأهل؟ بكل خير كيف الخيمة؟ بكل خير المعادي الحمد لله بارك الله فيك اشتري قال ما طريق من خير الحمد لله الحمد لله now do you see what we saying here I said how is he doing he said everybody good and I said how's the how's the family everybody good said how's the خيمة the chaim, the chaim, the chaim. The chaim. Yeah. The Mauritania greeting is too long, you know. Not too long. No, no. It's not too long. No, no. The chaim. 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 The سي يعني بالنسبة لحياة الفادي ويعني كيف نحن نتكلم الشعر والكثير كثير من الناس في موريتانيا شعر وأهمة الشعر عند الفادي أيوة دقيقة دقيقة يا تاي هي أمنات بالإنجليزي لا نو إنجليزي I'm not yet prepared for him because I'm surprised, you know. He said he want me. They want he want me to explain to you just a little bit. About the, the Mauritanian culture and uh, greeting right. and uh, the way they speak the language. The Mauritanian, we <laughs> study the language when we, like in the childhood, like five years or six years. And we start about uh, uh, from the poetry, the Arabic, like the pre Islamic. You think the pre Islamic, that's the pure language. So they, they teach. First the alphabet and the Arabic alphabet, and they move the child to the poetry, to you know to grasp the language. So after that, they move the child to learn the Quran. When they learn the Quran, he can understand. That's that's the method. Go ahead, Jenny. I just I just wanted to make. Because that's where I went to school, you know, from Mauritania, and that's the way we, this way, this way I learned all this. The, the, see now, remember every time I'm quoting a poem, a pre-Jahiliya poem, right? Or not pre-Jahiliya, pre-Islamic poem, from that I learned in Mauritania. Then we have Sheikh Idris all the way in Sudan, we finishing the line of poetry. Do you get, you get my point? Showing that the, the education and, and the difference between Mauritania and, and, and Sudan, you could fit America twice. Okay, literally, I'm not being playing games. Okay, you could because you could fit America into Africa five times. The United States, I should say. Okay, it's, it's there's we call it visual racism the way they make uh, Africa so small. You know, remember Greenland is 33 times larger than what it actually is on the map. And you could fit Russia into Africa twice. But the map doesn't show that, right? So just show you how big and wide space you could fit the United States in there twice that distance. Yes, it's the same thiqafa. It's the same, uh, what do you call it? Culture. 
culture, culture and education, you know, the oral tradition of memorizing and memorizing and memorizing and memorizing. Now, in Mauritania, there's about only two million people. We have more camels than anything else, okay? But at the same time, you have about two, many poet, two million poets, too. You know, and, and being able to do that poetry takes knowledge of the language. And having knowledge of the language makes it easier, like I said, to understand the Quran. So this is, again, why it's important for us to, to take those things, those things I'm saying to you, those little poems and things like that, try to memorize them, write them down, replay the video if you get the opportunity. Take this stuff very, you know, as opportunity, because it's very rare that you're gonna be able to get to the depth of that without doing all the things that we did to get it in the first place. You know, you get my point, guys? Yeah. You know, so, and, and like I said, me, I wasn't the best student. There are people much better than me that never came back to the United States. You get my point? So imagine what you're not getting, inshallah. But what we're getting, let's take advantage of it because one thing I do not want to do is, is I don't want to waste our time. Okay, subhanakullah wa bihamdika ashadu wa la ilaha ilaha an astaghfiruku wa tubu lay. Oh, sorry, tafaddali. Tafaddali. But you said, um, not wise. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be true. Shukran jazeelan. Shukran jazeelan is what people say sometimes when they say thank you very much. Jazeelan, you know, overflowing. Jazala is to pour out a lot. Okay, like you take a button and you jazeel, you know, you, you, you just pour a lot of, of, of water out, okay? So shukran jazeeling is shukran overflowing. So what's afwan? Kathiran. Right, kathra to have. Yani, and more in abundance. So to, to, to match the, the, the jazan, you know, <laughs> to, to, to match the, the overflowing that I'm grateful and awful in an equal or overflowing amount, okay? Yes, ma'am. What's the difference between You guys stop talking. Say again, I'm sorry, I was, I was just. What's the difference between saying na'am in Iowa? What's the difference between saying na'am in Iowa? Blah, paraka beauty. And understanding. What does nam nam la la la, nam nam la la, that's a poem. Nam nam la la la, nam nam la la. That's how we started learning poetry in Mauritania. Nam nam la la la, nam nam la la. You see, because the fit, you know, mustafilun fa'ilun, mustafilun fa'ilun. We start learning the different wasn and those things like that for poetry. So what the, I'm saying that because we started saying, what does na'am really mean? Anybody? Huh? Na'am. Na'am, what does na'am mean? Na'am. Na'am. Okay, it means something soft. Aslan, it means something really soft and luxurious. Someone rich has what? An'am. What is that, cattle? Cattle. Give me a thousand head and I'll be, you know, I'll have an am too, right? Alhamdulillah. Right? We'll be rich because, you know, you know still today we, 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 count, we count wealth by how much cattle you have, right? Sometimes I see on the TVs, they talk about, oh, the Fulani people don't even think they care about it, the cows and how many head they have. I'm like, yeah, what about the Texans? Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's the difference? Yes. You know, right? Aren't the richer ones who have how many heads of cattle they have? You know, why are these primitive and these guys are, you know, ultra conservative, wealthy? Nah, no, it's the same thing. So, even in the Quran, we call it an'am, is from the word ni'am, right? Something soft, and you don't get soft and, and luxurious if you have wealth, right? So, but it's a ni'mah, right? So, when you say something ni'am, you're saying basically that's a ni'mah idea, beautiful, a blessed idea, or whatever, or you're agreeing to it, and, you know, get my point? Put blessings in it, right? Does that make sense? Oh, Ay now, Ay 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 okay, the, 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 the Aywa is a shortened version of e Warabbi or e Wallahi. You get my point? Now, now you'll hear people in Africa, they'll be saying e Wallahi or e Wallah, and then the French took it and just said Wallah and started saying voila. Voila! How do we fool the Kalam Allah? You get my point? Voila! Yes. They say, Wallah! E Wallahi! E Wallahi! And they took one part of it instead of saying, Wah, they said, Wah! 
Wala. Wala. Again, so many things that we have here, they've taken from us. Okay? And we think that it's not, even when you say in Mexico or in, in Latin America, they call it dinar, right? What is a dinar? Dinero. Dinero, Dinero is Dinero. dinar. Dinero. Think the same thing? Yes. Right. You get my point? How do you say shirt in Spanish? Camisa. Camisa. What do you say in Arabic? Camisa. Camisa. How do you say pantalón? Pantalón. It's usted. Usted is from the word usted. Usted is usted. Como estas usted? Como estas usted? Same word. The step, there was a, there's a famous book out there that when the world spoke Arabic. All you have to realize is that the world changed with World War II. And it became undercover the Islamic Arabic influence on the world. It's still there, but they don't teach it no more. Because they don't want you to think that you got nothing worthy of anything. Fahmeen? Fahmeen. Hey, Wallah. Right? Hey, Wallah. You get my point? No. So, E, Wallah is showing agreement. And see, speech had power. When I say power, influence. La, 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 la. <laughs> when, when you said something, your word was your bond. Okay? Your word was an oath. Okay? You didn't have to say wallahi. Right? Everything you said was by your word, inshallah. By, I said it, I'll do it. Oh, thank you, Shukran. I'll do it or I'm going to die. Or Allah's going to stop me. Something outside of my physical ability is going to happen for me to break my word. Right? So it's just a choice on which one you want to go with at the moment. Don't, de don't diminish not. It's a ni'mah. Okay? So when some people say ni'mah ra, right? Beautiful, a blessed opinion. Okay? Ni'mah ra. Okay, that's a good, you know, opinion. But now, hey, well, it's, it's very love when people say that. But sometimes we say it like it loses the, the, the flavors. That a tender one? No. Fee, fee, masle, fikalla, kwees. Kwees? Fee, masle, it's a fee, must best. Yani, the, the terms are not, see these places that they call countries now didn't exist before. Kwees is Sudanese, kwees is from Chad, kwees is all the way in, 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 in uh, Somal, and, 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 all, and, and uh, what do you call it, Philistine. Kwees, before they made the Suez Canal and made a waterway, that all was connected together. Remember when we talk about the Najashi, did he have a translator? No. When he heard Quran, he cried. Yeah. You can't have that happen unless you understand what's being said, right? Okay, so, you know, that, that it's not an Egyptian thing, Kwees. It's not an Egyptian thing. It's that whole region uses certain terms, but the terms are interchangeable. Just like we say Ishtari in Mauritania. Right? You know, and he said, Tariq is place. He said, everything is good. And, you know, it's body. Over there, they would say, you know, Shlona. You know, what's your color? We don't say that anymore today. You, you get my point? In that part of the world over there. But it, if you said it, people would understand it. It's the same thing like if we say, Good day, Mike. Good day, Mike. We understood what he said, but we don't use that term. Right? That's the same thing with Arabic. That's all it is. Recognizable terms through practice and interaction and everything like that, but there are certain ones that every place gets used to and not used to, inshallah ta'ala. Subhanak, I'm sorry, I don't want to keep you ladies here. It's 8 o'clock, so we want to make sure you guys get home safe. Subhanakullah wa bihamdika, ashadu wa la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruku wa tubu alaykum. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa